Bonkers! Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations. Uh, my name's Skinny Mini. And I'm... Uh, I'm Pharaoh. Hold on a minute. Ow! <laughs> okay, I was, uh... I was laying kind of down on my chair. I had to get back up. Oh, my God. <laughs> you you alright? Yep. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, anyway, last episode, we pretty much discovered that Shinna is you. Castillo, you. Crazy, crazy lady. Well, I mean, she hasn't revealed herself, quote-unquote, yet. But, I mean, uh We ain't uh, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so, she's about to say, hey, you have no evidence to prove to us, to prove to me, um, that, uh, that uh, I'm the fake Yadagarasu, so now we're about to shut her up. So let's do this. All right. Oh, yeah, she already said it. Uh, so in my eyes, <laughs> all you proved is that we're rotating the fireplace was used, but you can't really call that proof the Yadagarasu used as a fireplace now, can you? So then who was it that used the rotating wall? Show me your answer with real evidence. I will show you with real evidence. Because I don't think we could press anywhere. Um. Sorry. You're fine. <laughs> so then, who was it that used the rotating wall? So, uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. I'm trying to look at all the evidence you got. Wait, you really can't call that proof. You know, use a fireplace. Oh, look, a pick. Um, we already finished our very thorough investigation, and we found not a single suspicious thing in his office. Shoot. Was there anything suspicious in his office? Oh, I found it. Hold on. Go get it. Yep. What was it? What, which which amb ambassador Paleno's office? Uh, no, they're asking. Well, Mr. Co Cochin's office. Oh, Mr. Cochin's office. Who was it that used the rotating wall? No, I, I think you're looking. I think you're looking at the wrong. <coughs> excuse me. Um, statement. Oh, sorry. No, no, don't uh, apologize. It's just like, uh... Just, I'm trying to think, but you can't really call that proof that the young grass is In my eyes, you've all... Okay, so I feel like it's this one. In my eyes, all you proved is that the rotating fireplace wall was used. Uh, Where's the second one? I'm, but you I'm, can't really call that proof that the young grass is used the fireplace now, can you? Because there's only three statements. No, keep going. Oh, wait, no, there's not. Remember, we've already finished our thorough investigation, and we found not a single suspicious thing in Mr. Oh, that one. Oh, my God. I forgot. <laughs> we, it was only like five minutes between this recording and the other one. Why did I forget already? Because there's stuff we had to do. God, freaking. Sorry, I'm not going to say that. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. Um. um. Okay. I'm trying to think, what did we find that was suspicious in Mr. Cochin's office? Oh, wait! It was a wire, wasn't it? Well, we found it. I was don't know it? if it's, I mean, kind of suspicious, but was there anything better than that? No, no. I'm trying to think. Sorry, I don't want to guess. No, you're okay. You're getting there. Oh, the oh, well, okay. I use the counterfeit bills. Present it. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really hungry, so I'm like trying to go through this. Right. Well, we'll try our best. You didn't find anything suspicious at all. I highly doubt that. But I didn't. You can even ask the other men. Hmm. I don't need to. For I found what you should have. What you should have a while ago. 
Wait, is she part of the smuggling ring? Excuse me? In Mr. Cochin's office, there were signs that someone had burned counterfeit bills there. Uh, what's in the- Aya! Bum bum! <laughs> that evidence was something you found out through that girl's machine, right? So what if it was? <laughs> That's what I thought. But unfortunately for you, a recreation made by a machine is hardly concrete proof. Among the ashes you found in that room, did you happen to find any counterfeit bills? No. <laughs> I mean, what else are we gonna say? It's like, well, damn, no. <laughs> no. You see, so there is nothing in that office. Nothing you can call evidence, anyway. Objection! Speaking of things that you that you Interpol agents have missed, I did find one more. Your pompous attitude is unnecessary. All I require is the evidence. Very well. I'll show her the hidden piece of evidence that her and her fellow Interpol agents missed. Uh, would it be the ink, since that's what was used? Well, focus on the keyword hidden. Oh. Oh, the, um, the, 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 the statue. Uh, His name is that. No? Uh, like, really hidden. What was, what was, hold on, I'm trying to go over it. What was All right. Uh, the wire this time. Mm-hmm. There we go. Take Bam. Off. I'd like for you to take a look at this length of wire. And what exactly is this supposed to mean? A length of wire? So what about it? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We found <laughs> this in the Barbary Embassy not long ago. <laughs> what? Booty. Booty, mm. <laughs> Gotta go downstairs like and all the booty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so, and we found it, we found it wound up inside the grandfather clock in Mr. Cochin's office. You found that at the scene of Mr. Cochin's murder? So I think you'll agree now, that I cannot trust you when you say that Interpol has thoroughly checked every room. And that this throws doubt on the purity of your investigation into the Agarasu. Seriously, that was what the wire was for? I guess. <laughs> you still suspect me, I see. Alright then, I ask you to point out what part of my investigation is incomplete. The other Interpol agents worked under the command of Agent Shinna. It is not possible. The reason the person K was chasing chose the third floor was because that person knew there would be no other agents on that floor. Furthermore, we've come to see that Agent Shinna was only pretending to be investigating the Aragonasu to the point of arresting K. In that case, there's one location that no one has yet to inspect. Your team's investigation was incomplete because they failed to inspect this location. The elevator- I'm just kidding. Uh... <laughs> they didn't even- they didn't- it's the- the room K's in, right? E- what is it? I thought it was the other room. Sorry, the other room. Not- Shin up. God. There's too many names! Sorry. This- this- uh, this take room. Off. Green! <laughs> the location, Agent Shin is of course the room you claim to have examined. I believe the room next to Mr. Coach's office warrants a thorough inspection. Even if you do that, I doubt you'll find anything of use to you there. Hm. I will be the one to decide that. Detective Gumshoe! Yes, sir! I'm on it! I'll be right back after I check out the room next to the office! Ha ha ha! Oh my god, it's like all tense, and then we're just like waiting. <laughs> it's like, so! How was your day? <laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Edgeworth, do you really think that Miss Shin is the Yadakarasu? 
Yes. If my logic is sound, I believe she is. Then I'm not going to let her get away with ruining the name of the Yadagarasu. But can you prove she's the Yadagarasu is the question. If Jizaka Gumshu can find what I'm hoping he will find, then I should be okay. I should be able to. What the hell? <laughs> and just what are you hoping he'll find? Let's just say this. I had Detective Gumshoe do a little experiment for me earlier. An experiment? As if that detective has the brains for high science. You know, I'm mad when they keep making fun of him. The man builds things. Yeah. I mean, leave him alone. Gumshoe has, like, people hate him, and I'm like, no. Gumshoe has done a lot for us. Like, he, you can't hate him. You can't. Ah. Uh. It wasn't that meant that it wasn't that mentally taxing. I had him use the same escape route as the Yagarasu. And what did you find out by doing that? First, that, to, that it's possible for a person to fit through the revolving wall door. Second, that by going through there, his coat was covered in ash and Babali's ink. Who cares what his coat was covered in? It's not worth that much anyway. Ah, but is it really worth so little? I believe that that is actually quite a meaningful result, the value of which I'm about to prove. Uh, hmm? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, I found some things you really need to see, sir. Oh? So what are these things that you found? Um, some makeup, a coat, and a pair of shoes, sir. You found a coat? You hear that, Mr. Edgeworth? Maybe it's the one the person who I was chasing was wearing. Yes, the possibility does exist. Agent Shinna, were these pieces of evidence not in that room where you, when you examined it? <laughs> Unfortunately for you, those weren't suspicious items of any sort. They all belong to me. They were getting in the way, so I stored them in that room. Oh, come on now. Seriously? Ah. Uh... Thank you for bringing them to me. It saved me a trip. May I have them back now? These items that the detective brought back are incredibly significant. I request that we be allowed to examine them. They're my personal belongings, so you have no right to touch them without my permission. I wish to examine them for the sake of the investigation. But if you wish to deny us access to them... Agent Lang, let's hear your opinion on this. I say, let them look at let them look at your stuff, Shinna. Lang! Shinna, let's put it all out in the open. If you're really innocent, they have nothing to worry about, right? I guess so. Alright, go ahead and examine whatever you like. After all, I have nothing to hide. Hmm. Good. Let us begin. So which one of Agent Shinna's belongings are you gonna investigate, sir? I want to examine the coat. Coat! Good. Let, let's examine the coat. Yes, sir! It appears that you've managed to stain your coat rather badly. Agent Shinna. <laughs> the Agarasu that KSL was wearing a coat. But I'm beginning to wonder if, that's, if this stain was created when you went through the fireplace. Uh, no, you have it wrong. That soot probably got on my coat when I was helping the police put out the fire. And what about this dark substance around the hem of your coat? Oh, I didn't realize that the hem was that dirty. I'm sure it's just some water mixed with soot when I was helping with the fire. I don't think so. You think you can get away with such a transparent lie? Yeah, don't lie to us, pal. This is the same pattern of dirt that got on my coat when I went through the fireplace. Your words ring hollow in the absence of evidence, you know. So unless you can prove that that dirt on my coat is from the fireplace? Which I can. What? How? You did a great job, Detective Gumshoe. Huh? Me, sir? What did I do? This coat. This is exactly the piece of evidence I was searching for. I had been hoping to find the coat that the person K saw was wearing. Thanks to you, we proved that going through the fireplace would sully a coat. I don't quite get what you're saying, but I'm happy for the praise, sir. All that remains is for us to show that... 
is for us to show what the dark substance under the cove hem is. Oh, and you think you can do that? Of course I can. This is the dark substance that sullied the hem of this coat. Which would be the now the Bavalese ink. Yeah. Take that. B uh, Bavalese ink. Yes. This is what will prove that the coat went through the fireplace. According to Ambassador Plano, he burned some files in the fireplace this morning. You told us about that already, so I don't really see the point in mentioning it again. My point is that he spilled some ink onto the black back wall onto the fireplace at that time. <laughs> if the dark substance on this coat turns out to be Bobbley's ink, it will prove that you and this coat went through the revolving fireplace wall. Ah! Sorry, now, Cliff. Ah, my body! Sorry to have clipped one of your wings, Yadagarasu, but we're not finished yet. But you have no way of proving whether or not this Bobbley's ink on the coat is... This is Bobbley's ink on the coat hem. Oh, but I do. And I intend to show that it is ink in a few seconds. How? How, you ask? Well, since you don't seem to know, allow me to show you. This is how we'll prove that the dark substance on the coat is Bobbley's ink. Burn it! Because it burns green! Burn. Burn. Okay. All right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Burn. We can find out whether that is bubbly zinc or not by lighting it on fire. That's how you're going to prove that it's bubbly zinc? Well, yes. If you could please cut the section of the dark stained area for me, I'd appreciate it. Because I will show you, here and now, what the dark substance is. Should I? Sorry to do this, but I'm going to have to cut off a bit of your coat. Go ahead. I wasn't planning on wearing it anymore anyway. Now then, if someone could lo loan me a lighter or something? Oh, I've got some matches! I always carry them with me so I can light smoke bombs! That... okay. <laughs> then, if I could please... Really? You gotta light up some... I'm sorry, but like, you gotta... Fi it's a smoke bomb. It's meant to be used in matters of very great time constraints. You know, you don't. Do you have time to light a match, light the smoke bomb, and then throw it down? No, she doesn't. But you know, video game magic. I guess. Then, if I could please have one, okay, we can get this experiment underway. Uh, the flame. Whoa! Why did I say it like that? Mm. It's the same color as the flames wit crystal oil produces, which means. Bum bum ba ba ba. Okay, sorry, I did that joke before. <laughs> Bobbly zinc is a product of wit crystal oil, and when lit, the ink produces a green flame. Hm. I believe the time has come to clip the Yadagarasu's other wing. Miss Shinna, you're the fake Yadagarasu. The one that killed my father! It's about time you came clean, Agent Shinna. Or should I say, Callisto you? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, you're not serious, are you? Do I look like a joking type to you? God, no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Callisto, you? I've never heard that name before in my life. That manner of speaking and your attitude, you haven't changed a bit in seven years. You're the defense attorney that killed Mr. Faraday, and then try to frame me for it. Oh, really? And you have your proof? You insist that I am this Callisto you woman, but you can't prove it. If you have no proof, then I'm afraid you won't be able to lay a single finger on it. The raven is a very unique bird, one that flies by the darkness of night. However, the light of dawn has arrived and will reveal your true ugly form to the world. What the hell? Okay. Okay. Enough poetry. I want to see some evidence. Do you really have something that can prove that she is Callisto Yu? I do. It's something that the second Aragrasu has preserved for us these last seven years. Do me the honor, Mr. Edgeworth. I will, Kay. For we have finally come to the end. We'll prove her to be the Callisto Yu with this, and clip the Aragrasu's wings for good. Oh, I want to clip it so bad, but no, let's keep going. Damn it! Um... <laughs> 
And it is hair perfume! <gasps> this was left behind seven years ago. And Kay had been safeguarding it, so present this perfume. Present! This perfume. This will prove to you. This will prove you to be Callisto you. It, it will? Kay has preserved it perfectly for us. Surely we remember this bottle. This belonged to Miss Yu just before she disappeared seven years ago. Naturally, this means that a few of her fingerprints are on here as well. This is the bottle of perfume you spilled, which I have preserved ever since. I heard from my father, Burn Faraday, that if stored under the right conditions, a fingerprint can be preserved for decades. Which means that your fingerprints are still on here. Every last one. Which can clear everything up if we were to compare the prints of on this to your own. Now come, Agent Shinner. Will you submit yourself to a fingerprint test? Huh? <laughs> 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 oh my god! I, I cracked myself a third time. That's what you see before you die! Oh my god. I'm not gonna do all that laughing. Jeez, it keeps going on, huh? Laughter! Yeah. <laughs> Evil laughter. It looks like you've seen right through me yet again. <laughs> You're sending the biggest chill down my spine, Edward. Callisto. You! So you've shown your true face at last. This feeling of thrill, it's even greater than that time seven years ago. Shinna! You're... Lang, I've really enjoyed our days together. You're an insanely strong, nice, kind-hearted idiot of a man. So, you were a spy all along. Moles have been a smuggling ring I've been chasing after. Someone who has been feeding them intel on Interpol all this time? <laughs> Very good. Maybe you're not as big of an idiot as I thought. Callisto you! The woman who killed my father seven years ago. You're her, aren't you? The fake Yadagorasu. That's right. Callisto you. That's just one of my many names. But even that is just a facade. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the great thief Yadagorasu. This to you, this time you won't escape, for this is the end of the road for you. Now come along quietly. You know, you're not the one who left the strongest impression on me, Kay Faraday. And had you not used the Yadagarasu's gadgets, I might have never known who you were. Here you are, being a thorn in my side. Just like your father always was. Ugh. Kay, don't! <laughs> She's <laughs> punching the air. You, I'll never forgive you for what you did to my father! <laughs> you really are just like him. Mr. Faraday, too, possessed such laughable honesty. Ah! Ah, well, damn it all. Kay! Oh, you let go, Kay, right now, pal! You despicable! Let go of me, you filthy. Ah! You think I'm a fake, don't you? Well, unfortunately for you, I'm the real Yadagorasu. But that's impossible! My father was the one who created Little Thief! <laughs> hey, Edgeworth. The Yadagorasu has three legs. Do you know why that is? Why is it... Why... Why... What? <laughs> why it has three legs? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Like, I, like, I thought there was a word missing. Oh. Why it has three legs? There are three main reasons why the Yagrasu will always be one step ahead. First, the Yagrasu also always knows the exact location of the target object. Second, the Yagrasu always knows exactly how to disarm the scary system. Did you get it? Yes. I'm sorry. No! It can't be! Did you finally figure it out? Did you finally f know the real identity of the Yadagarasu? The real identity of Yadagarasu is... Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, 
do it. Do it. The next episode. Yes. Next episode. I'm sorry. I fell into peer pressure. Do it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. All right. So in the next episode, you guys, I'm so so sorry. I'm sorry. In the next episode, we will find out who the real Yadagarasu is. <laughs> So thank you guys so very much for watching, and if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody. Uh, bye bye.